everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. It's Friday, and you know what that means. At least if you've been around here for a while, if you are new to Let's Go Geo, I usually do a lot of in-depth uh, field excursions in geo topics. So a lot of geology, a little geography, and those can be a little lengthier and you get to see some virtual uh, geo features. But on Fridays, we do something a little different little shorter episodes and these are where I show you some random geo feature sometimes a hand sample and sometimes a view like you have here but these are a little different because in these you actually get a I give you a little chance at guessing so you get to test your your ideas and have a little discussion about what we see so what you see in front of you will be part of today's feature Friday theme I'm out here hiking and I thought, yeah, this is a great thing to feature. And now let's figure out what we're guessing today. So once you figure out your guess, just drop it in the comments. So today we have these awesome looking rocks around us. Obviously these are really big boulders. Actually, it's not obvious until you get up on them. So if I walk around here, you can see some of them are quite large the closer you get to them. And this is part of our feature today. As you can see, I have just a beautiful view. And the question is, well, we'll make this a two-parter today. So the first question is going to be, what are these rocks? So that's a little tricky because seeing rocks at a distance like this can be kind of hard to say, oh, I know exactly what that rock is. But if you kind of look around at the context clues here, you might be able to make a somewhat educated guess as to what these rocks are. So this is a two-parter. So part one is, what are these rocks? What's your best guess at what kind of rocks we have? We'll, we'll say um, broad level guess. So hopefully that makes sense. A broad level, what kind of rocks do we have? If you want to take a stab at a little deeper analysis, go for it. You can have a discussion about what kind of rocks we have. Um, but part two will be what's going on with these rocks? What do you see? Why do they look the way that they do? And what I'm talking about, just to be clear, let me go up to these ones. So if we go up to any of the rocks we see here, what you'll notice is this kind of rounded boulder shape, but then they're also mm, like, if you look at those ones in the distance, you see this jumbled pile of them but they all kind of have that look, this jumbled pile of sort of rounded off rocks here. So why, why do we have these? Why do they look like this? So that's your, that's your part two. What kind of rocks do we have? Why do they look like them? What's going on? What's the main thing process that we're seeing here? Okay, so you might come up with different things. I don't know, it's kind of fun to see what we come up with, but see if you can figure out what I'm talking about and I'll kind of walk around here and see how many different perspectives I can show you, but it might seem like I'm dipping down and they're going out of view, but that's because I'm coming into this wash here, which there's boulders everywhere around me. Um, but I'll come down into this wash. Yeah, this landscape, you, you, you know, you just look across it, you think you can just walk anywhere, but then you just keep coming down into deep little ravines like this with all these boulders in here. And then you gotta work your way back up. So. It takes some, some fun hiking out here. Okay, so I don't wanna show you too close up of a view. So I don't wanna give anything away. I want it to be from a longer perspective of what the rocks are. Uh, but that's, that's what we have here. So, and plus I'm walking around. So maybe there's different kinds of rocks. I don't know, what do we have going on here? Uh, you might have seen from the scenery, you might have an idea of even where I am. I'm not sure. Some of you probably recognize at least some general area. Okay, there we go. We made it back a little bit back up. So there's a, the view is pretty awesome. This is awesome scenery here. Lots of mountains. <clears throat> All right. Hoofed it up that one. It's still kind of, the air is still not great. I've been kind of struggling this year because the air quality has just been so bad. Primarily because of a lot of fire smoke in the air. So then of course, if you add 
dust and dryness and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get some more good views here. Hopefully you've had time to guess. Now let's just talk a little bit about what we have. So the first part of this is hopefully you said, for the first part, what kind of rock is this? Hopefully you said something like an igneous rock. So you could have been as, as broad and general as that. And realistically, that's almost all we can surely conclude, <clears throat> to be honest. Now you can say an, intr an intrusive igneous rock. That would also be pretty generalized, um, but you could conclude that with some confidence. So an intrusive igneous rock. Now, if you said volcanic, just be careful with that term. I'll talk more about that here, but volcanic has different implications. It's used in different ways by different people. So we have to be a little careful with exactly what we mean by that. <clears throat> Let's leave it at that. It, it is volcanically related to some extent, but intrusive igneous would be a little bit more specific. Um, but like I said, that's a broad category. There's lots of rocks that fall under that umbrella. Now, if you said granite, I'm not going to say you're wrong. You're not wrong. It, granite would be a great guess, and it's good if you said that. Um, because these rocks are probably granites and or related to granites in that, uh, geologically speaking, hopefully the wind's not too bad. I hear it blowing, so... Um, okay, it's calmed down. Uh, <clears throat> when we're classifying rocks, actually, we can say granite broadly sometimes, but but really there's a lot more, there's, there's breakdowns. There's different types of intrusive igneous rocks. Maybe if I face this way, it'll help with the wind. Um, so there's actually, you know, there's, there's granodiorite, cyanite. So there's all these rocks that technically aren't granites um, per se, they're similar. Uh, but but the mineralogy is different, so we actually break those down. That's a whole discussion, and I plan on doing a whole discussion on that here. So if you want to learn more about those classifications of igneous rocks, just stay along for the adventure. We'll talk about that soon. Um, but if you were in that ballpark, then yeah, that's about the kinds of rocks we have here. More specifically, we could go into the, the mineralogy and say, like, is it more or less granite, more or less quartz? And that's how we would differentiate those types of rocks. Now, second is, what's going on with these rocks? Why are, there, why are there these big piles? And they're all like broken up like, the? why do they do this? They seem to do this everywhere we look. Some piles are bigger, some piles are smaller, but it's still the same general pattern. And some of them even look kind of weird, like more rectangular. And, and some people might even mistaken this sometimes for being like humid, human created. Like somebody piled these rocks up. It looks a little like Stonehenge sometimes when they break out like this. But this is actually a very natural process and it's called spheroidal weathering. So if you guessed that, you got spheroidal weathering or if you said weathering or something like that, that's what's going on with these rocks. And I'm about to talk a lot more about that as well here. But basically, in a nutshell, this stuff is gets weathered. So it gets cracked or jointed, right? And then the the surface, there's more surface area. So groundwater, water can interact and this stuff can get, that's how the corners, so it'd be more blocky, but then the corners get rounded off and then material erodes and part of it erodes away. And we get these processes. You get some exfoliation too. <clears throat> and the material erodes away, kind of makes a nice sand created by granite material. And then we get these rounded blocks, these rounded boulders and these piles from spheroidal weathering. Sometimes they're quite rounded. Sometimes you'll see like a little rounded sphere within a mass. That's called spheroidal weathering and it's a process common in granite types of or intrusive igneous rocks. So that's our feature for today's Featured Friday. If you wanna join me on Geo Adventures, subscribe here at Let's Go Geo. And if you wanna learn more Geo and, and guess more Featured Fridays, I have a whole playlist here from all our Featured Fridays. So check out that playlist and guess away. I'll see you guys on the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo.